Jordan Priest flowed and done a fine job. Again, Bendrum. They said he wouldn't throw, and he's lined up and done it on two out of three. It's going to be recovered in North Dakota State. Well, a missed handoff in there as Muhlenhauser, Dana Muhlenhauser, recovered the fumble. 6'5", 250-pound senior is the man who got the fumble on it at the 16-yard line. That's where North Dakota State will take over. We've got a timeout on the field, and there's no score. Gentlemen here, you probably recognize Tom Brokaw of NBC Nightly News. This is Al Newhauser. He's the chairman of the board of Gannett at USA Today. These gentlemen are alums of South Dakota. Gentlemen, welcome here. Thank you very much. You also have the governor of the state right behind you, Bill Janklow, right here. Let's step the governor up here, Bill Janko. Nice to have you folks here. Uh, your opinion of the ball game, real quickly. Well, we should have scored there a minute ago, but we will shortly. How about you, Governor? We just we usually take a little bit of time out in the prairie to set things up, and then we run up the score at the end. <laughs> we'll do, yeah, those we'll people do fine. up here with us. You and I were at the airport this morning, and they were more excited about Brokaw and Newhouser coming in than they were the governor last night. I think, weren't they? This is Bentham. He has the first down and more to the 40-yard line. They keep the drive. This is Bentram. Seventh time today he's carried an option. Heads up play as he tossed it back to Tushner and Hood makes the stop. That's what Jeff Bentram brings to the North Dakota State. First down, offense. Jack. That's been picked up by North Dakota State. Again the option. It's to Lloyd. And down to about the 17. Gleason is back in number 32. He'll be wide to the right. Let's see here, Ralph, if they go to the wide side. They have been trying to cross up South Dakota by running the option to the short side. I think he's going to go to his right to the wide side here. Boy, he was hit about three times, as you saw, and finally Kevin Mullet brings him down inside the five-yard line. Looked as though he could have been taken down at the 10. What strength for a quarterback. This is just... Terrific work. Look at him work upfield. He's in trouble right there, but somehow keeps his feet, sheds the block of Van Der Esch, the linebacker, and picks up the first down. Watch it again. Impressive. Kubitz will kick it. We have Barr and Van back. problems did he not and he's still not out of jail they've got him in the end zone nope they're gonna say on the one foot line the quarterback number 13 Scott Jones he just hasn't gotten completely on track since they had the fumble in the second quarter and they drop him for a loss of about two yards as James Hammerick an outstanding player from down in Florida, who's got to be freezing this afternoon, tries to carry it. Paul Nielsen, the great middle guard for North Dakota State. Third down 12. On the eye. South Dakota trailing, 14-0. Zero on offense. Jones is going to be caught at about the 35 and taken down. Paul Nielsen. It's the man who'll do this. Bad snap. But he does get a dandy away. He has sent Braxton hurtling back at the 16. 25. He's to the 40. He may go. He's at midfield. He's going to be chased from behind, but can he sprint far enough? It's going to be a touchdown return. Tyrone Braxton, who ran the opening kickoff back last year to set the tone in the championship win over North Seven. Alabama. 74 yards, 84 yards. He's done an excellent job this afternoon for North Dakota State. This will be the last play, more than likely, of the third quarter. Central. Washington, same play. They ran in the first half, and he steps out of bounds to the 42. Great gainer, and he steps out with one second to go in the third. Bertram just wants to keep it on the ground. Lloyd, 35, 30. Out of bounds at about the 24-yard line as they drive down the toward the end zone. Chad, second down nine, gain of one. Jones. This is Hambrick. Hambrick gets just to the 49 and a gain of one more time. He's had to punt today. Casey Bradley averages 33.2. It's going to be recovered by North Dakota State at 
the 42-yard line. Paul Parr, number six, looked like the man who came up with it, and Merry Christmas to all you. There's timeout on the field with 5.57 to go. It's 20 to 7. South Dakota may have let it go by the board right there. Second turnover for South Dakota might be the most costly one. They gained 33 yards on the fumble recovery. And they gained good yardage there inside to the 34-yard line with Chad Stark carrying it again. Number two Last rusher in the year. school has this North Dakota team won the championship by defeating North Alabama. The team right here is the university we're visiting today by a score of 35 to 7 down McAllen, Texas. Again, Bentram gives to Lloyd. Lloyd to about the 23. Well, they've been in the championship game all four years that Jeff Bentram has been their quarterback. Basketball. The basketball team did it back in 1958. Bentram throwing. The drive stays alive as they've got a first down at about the 11-yard line. It's completed to Chad Stark. Toshner is out of the game. This is Bentram. Toshner trailing. Toshner's got it. At the four, they take him out. Toshner kept just those feet alive to take him out after a great block by Tom Gleason. A happy man now. Jack Corrigan has moved from the booth down on the field. Jack, what's the, what's the feel now around, around the North Dakota State bench? Well, they're very happy about what's going to be just a couple of minutes away from another championship, but a very sort of quiet situation right now. Touchdown, North Dakota State. That's Bentram as he carried for his second touchdown of the afternoon. Well, that picked up the crowd down here a little bit. Down here, Ralph, they're taking a picture. They've got Chad Stark and Jeff Bentram alongside of James Molstry, the fine senior tailback who was not able to play today because he injured his knee in the first round of the playoffs. But I would imagine that uh, his teammates uh, knew he was out there in spirit. He was also a big part of what has been uh, a great success story for North Dakota State. Longville. Upstairs, there's Parr. It is intercepted. That is Chris Service. And Service runs out of the, out of the park almost. His flags just went down. Service intercepted a pass intended for Parr with 21 seconds to go. The flag went down after the interception. Ten seconds. There's Solomon. Let's just watch it play out. For the second consecutive year, Earl Solomonson, Jeff Bentram have led their football team to the Division II championship, and he has to be a happy, happy man here this afternoon. Seven win for North Dakota State over the University of South Dakota for the championship. The NCAA Division II College Football Championship has been brought to you by Casio, makers of data bank watches and data cow calculators. And by Jeep. There's a feeling you get only in a Jeep.